Yeah, I just, I, I, I'm laughing because I just saw, uh, I got a response to a tweet I did on diversity, and somebody said, diversity sucks, look at the mess it's got us into. And I was like, I don't know how, to, I don't know how to reply to that positively. Right. <laughs> I, I just don't know how to do that. You can say I'm enjoying the mess because, <laughs> honestly, a mess can give you a lot of good perspective in life, and, and the funny thing I found in me is when I'm giving gratitude to somebody it doesn't always have to be like well, I'm going to give them tons of compliments maybe yeah. I'll be back and I would actually if you're familiar with Toastmasters if yeah. you've been there I actually want a few speech evaluations what I would do is I would give them some feedback on what I thought they did really well then I give them sandwich in some suggestions for improvement not insults, not yeah. anything bad, but, oh, I think you you could even do better at this or maybe a little bit less of yeah, consider this, consider that. Consider maybe positioning yourself and saying these words a little bit slower. Yeah. Vocal variety. See what that does. I would say if you incorporate those, you'll have an award-winning speech. You'll help you have your speech accomplish the goal it's trying to do because that's really what an evaluation is yeah and then funny enough i won a few contests out of that and i said wow there's more to giving feedback than meets the eye yeah it's just like anything else and it's kind of funny because people take that for granted they're like well i sent you i sent you a thank you card or you know i get i gave them a pat on the back or i gave them a little clap Aren't you good? And that no, it, it goes to knowing who you're dealing with. And, and, I, and I, in my case, know my audience when I'm blogging and blogging and stuff like that. So I think it also goes back to when we're talking with people and dealing with people, knowing who we're dealing with and how we best can approach them. And I think part of what you learned from Toastmasters is how to use the – you know, positive feedback and the positive things in ways that help them to see where they can improve, but do it in a, still a positive way. And I like what, um, I'm sorry, I can't Gordon. remember your name. Gordon, sorry. Um, what Gordon said, you know, that because I heard it from my grandmother and my mom that, you know, you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. But what I usually try to do or I ha – have gotten better at over the years is learning to find something about the person I do like so I can find that something that I can compliment and be grateful and give that feedback and give that thankfulness to that way they're not feeling left dejected or feeling like I didn't notice or pick up on something or you know find a good thing about them that I could give that positive feedback and that gratefulness and everything because of what they might have given me so I think that's another way of you know doing it because we all we all want feedback we all want that good things to help us build ourselves up I think if I don't know if you've read the book Gung Ho by uh, Ken Blanchard uh, and he in that book he talks about the power of recognition and he said in every company, it doesn't matter how badly you're performing, you can always start by recognizing people's birthdays and career anniversaries. Just start the recognition anywhere and you'll start to see it build up. So that was, you know, I, I did work for a team and we were so bad, there was nothing we there was nothing positive we could say other than, hey congratulations on putting up with this crap for three years. And once you start doing that, and people, you know, we used to bring cakes in for birthdays, and people, once you start get, getting used to that, you know, it brings you closer together, and then you start to find ways to improve things and just look for more reasons to celebrate together, and it'll, it'll start to turn performance around. And I've seen that, funny enough. Because where I'm at right now, one of the big things they did for me, I'm, I'm, I'm not kidding, is when I first started, different companies would do different things. Someone just like, hey, you know, hey, welcome to the team, welcome aboard, shake my hand. 
This one actually set an event on Outlook. I'm, I'm guessing you may have used that, Gordon, since you're in IT. If you're not familiar with Outlook, it's just a um, thing like Gmail. It's a email client. And they set an event, a specialized event, which is number two of how to give thanks for me to go out to lunch with, with my start date. The company actually set an event to take me out to lunch, which was at a restaurant called Chili's. It's, uh, I'm not sure if you have that over there, Gordon. But it was, it was really nice, and they actually picked up the bill, and I'm like, wow, this is a place that they appreciate me. They set an event to take me out to lunch, a specialized event. And one way I thought, how can we appreciate people? I can send people who come regularly to this Christmas cards and different things and, and, and thank you letters. But more so than that, I can show up every Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. and showcase what people are doing, get feedback, and just bring all my energy and my all here. So if someone's struggling as an entrepreneur, they can find some kind of refuge. Setting up specialized events like mm -hmm. this one, like Toastmasters, you set up a webinar, Dan has set up webinars, Micah does, he just joined, welcome Micah. We're talking about cool. five powerful ways to give gratitude. And the spe setting up a specialized event to me is the most critical part, uh, I think, out of all these five ones, because that actually shows not only am I giving you specialized feedback, I'm taking it to the next level and showing you an event of appreciation. What do you guys think of that? You, you have to be careful when you do that, though, um, because you might not like chilies, and we, we have to make sure that, you know, uh, you know, if one company I worked at, they used to give tickets to the ice hockey. But some people didn't like ice hockey. The last thing they wanted to do was go to the ice hockey. And I, and I read this uh, great book where um, they, they talked about recognition, where every month they used to have an employee of the month, and the, the CEO would give people a £15 ham. And he thought it was the greatest thing in the world, and people would cheer when he gave this out. And they would just go out of the... Um, you know the uh, town hall and throw it in a dumpster because nobody wanted it it was just a joke yeah and sometimes you know, we're better off giving people <laughs> gift vouchers and letting them pick up or asking them hey we want to recognize you you were thinking of getting tickets to the baseball the basketball the football or uh, a dinner for two with you and your wife and let them decide because giving people something they have no interest in it, it shows no respect so you, you yeah. lose any value uh, uh, of what you're doing that'll get you into trouble i completely 100 percent agree one part of that story i didn't uh, uh put in as my boss uh, said, like where do you want to go you, you yeah. if the restaurants around do you want to go to this this that and he named a bunch and with the power hour, I tell people what we're talking about, what we're all about, mm. what we do. It's not like, hey, I'm going to pull you in to this thing. Like, get on the broadcast. I'm like, hey, yeah. we put events up. People, I do Facebook Live videos now. Me posted found the thing. And I like to let people know, this is what I'm about. This is what we're talking about. Put events everywhere and then tell people when they come in. Here's the subject and here's what's going on. So well, I, I also want to touch on that, Kareem, and, and, and what Gordon was saying, where if, if we were going to stage an appreciation event for all of our panelists, any, and everybody who's helping us build the Entrepreneur Power Hour, it's a legendary status, popularity, all that stuff, what I think would be a great idea would be to write down a whole bunch of events and then draw it out of a hat or, you know, a bingo ball or something and shake it up and then people could take out, take out you know, individual events, read them, and and then go, okay, well, let's take a vote. You want to do this? Do you want to do this? Do you want to do this? Do you want to do this? And whatever everyone agreed on the most, that's what we would do. I think that would be stage and appreciation event is to have a contest and people could vote on what they wanted to do for the for the activity. That that I think would be a lot more effective. 